Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com. Now, are you looking for something for your loved one for Christmas? Do you want it to be Android related? Do you want it to be a home screen? Well then, I present to you Flower. Oh man, these, this, this screen is, it, it's, it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's got these amazing pink colors. It's got all your data that you need, your missed calls, as well as all your apps on one little neat screen. I mean, the, this wallpaper alone is just, wow. It's just wow. This was a screen of the day featured a while ago and I, I just think it'll appeal to my 9% female audience. Thanks very much. I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to produce this exact screen. Alright, let us begin. Okay, let us begin with our first screen. Once you have installed SS Launcher and opened it, you'll see it'll look a little different to this. So we'll first start by tapping our bottom menu and go pages and go current background. All you have to do now is go choose add an image and search for the ones that have been provided in the link and you can either select one or two obviously for the first page you'll select one and it'll look something similar to this but without all the widgets now for the rest of the screen we'll see we have our little settings at the top there as when tapped it'll bring up our settings now to do that it is a simple holding down widgets and choosing our desktop visualizer one by one all you have to do is select it like that you can leave it the size you want Go select icon, image file, and then look for the image that has been provided in the link. And for action, you can just go launch action and choose settings. You can take off your label and take off your touch effect. And it'll look something similar to that. You just have to look for the settings icon and then resize it in the corner there. Simple as that. Next, we'll want to add in our two UCCW widgets like this. I'll open up the first one and show you what I've added. Let's go change the alpha bit just so it brings up can see it a bit better as you can see I just added three images there three static texts and the time and the date I've left free memory empty now as I'll show you what I've done there the color has been provided it is over here and that's about it now for the free memory you'll see that it is minimalist text nice free app here we'll go scroll down to predefined layout choose our custom layouts go to custom layouts and the only thing that we want is our SD, internal SD card free. That'll show much how much free space we have. Change it to the ch same color. The size, I made it a 14 just to be safe, as well as keeping it the same font. Just go OK like that, and you can rearrange it to make it nice little pretty like that. For the bottom UCCW widgets, so as you can see, I just changed my three icons, changed my static text, and then added in missed calls, Miss me well, unread messages and our Gmail and as always for our Gmail when we select it we'll go scroll all the way change the account to the one that you want and our label will be inbox and boom it'll appear like that so we'll just go back to how it was changing back the alpha you always want to save it as you don't want to lose this and then finally our UCCW at the bottom is this let's open it up all I used was static text battery level and battery bar now these two are quite simple but for a battery bar all I did was change the color the width you want it to be as long as possible height you want it to be as zero as possible and for our height you want it to be five or any of the like and we'll save that as well next we want to add in our second second screen well page so we'll go pages and new page and you can call this whatever you want but make sure it's a cover page and a little pier on the side here when you scroll across. Now you also want to change this the wallpaper again. So we'll go pages. Remember it's pages, current background, and you want it to choose two this time. Because it is page number two. Now that's just a simple UCCW widget right there. Just added it like that, changing the font and color. Now for here, this is quite the long and hard part. <coughs> It is made up of lots of desktop visualizer widgets. I had to place them individually, which takes some time. But the good thing about SS Launcher is that once you resize one, you can just tap it and you can resize all the others like that. Nice and simple. It just takes a bit of time. Also, we have our UCCW providing our media, internet and others label. As you can see, if we change our alpha, I just added the three like that. Now for the bottom, I just added in a SS Launcher shortcut. If you hold down and choose shortcuts, go type and you select page, you can change your target to applications, which will 
will then open up our applications. We'll just change the style to just be text for you to go to title and then change the text to the one you want. And your font size will make it a bit small. I think mine was 14. Then don't forget to go apply as well as changing the color and then clicking apply again. And then that'll bring you up with something. Hopefully that looks like that. So now when you tap it, it brings up our applications. Nice. Finally, we want to add in another shortcut that we'll add in over here. As you can see, when we tap home and tap apps, they jump to each other. That's just simply SS Launcher going shortcut, type, page, target, target, and then choosing what page you want to jump to. And obviously just making the icon blank so you don't have to see it. And there we have our home screen for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as there'll be many more daily videos where this came from. Thank you very much, guys, and see you around next time.